Okay, we have our two another integral. This one's from MIT 2019, problem number three. We have the integral of e to the x plus e to the x plus e to the x minus e to the x dx. Okay, this kind of problem comes up a lot with integration b's where they try to confuse us with some towers on the exponential. But I think what I want to do on this one, first of all, I don't like having addition in the or subtraction in the exponent. So I think I want to write this a little differently. And the other thing, something we don't usually like to do is I actually want to split this into two integrals and we'll do basically the same kind of thing on the second one here. We'll turn this into e to the x times, but then this one's just going to be a little bit different. This will be e to the minus e x dx. And then next, all I want to do on this is u substitution. You can kind of see, so I think there's two ways to do it. You could substitute, like on just dealing with this left one, left, well, just dealing with this left one, if you substitute for e to the x, we have the derivative right here, e to the x dx. But we actually can save a step, I think, if I just substitute for the whole thing. So if I do my substitution, u equal to e to the e to the x. When we take a derivative, du is going to be, we get the whole thing back, e to the e to the x. Chain rule on this part is just e to the x dx. But what just happened is we just got the whole integral right there is everything there matches this. So what's gonna happen is this whole integral just simplifies down to just being all of it, just being du. Then same kind of thing on this second one, just that we've got a minus sign that makes it a little bit different, but we wanna get, but I wanna to try to save a step and substitute for the whole thing. So we're gonna do e minus e to the x, and then take a derivative, get our dt value, we get the whole thing back, e minus e to the x, Chain rule again on that is going to be minus e to the x. Let's bring the minus out front, dx. So in order to do the same kind of thing we did over here to get our whole integral to match, if I just multiply in a minus sign, then everything is going to be this dt value. But I don't want to change it, so let's just bring a minus sign out front of the integral here. And now all that's dt, so then for our second integral, we have just minus dt. So for our actual integration here, it's going to be very simple. We integrate du, we get u. We integrate dt, we get a t. Back substitute in order to finish it off. And so for my final solution to this, we just get e to the e to the x minus e to the minus e to the x. Add a plus c on there and that's it. Okay, there you go. Quick and easy. MIT 2019. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.